Hi everyone, welcome to Craft Our Paper Stash Cards. We're on the 15th of the month. Several of us uh, make cards using paper from our stash. So this month I did something a little different than I usually do. I don't have a lot of loose paper, but I have some. And so I had these two sheets from Recollections, Hot Pink Damask, Damask, and this was a clearance item, but it's also Recollections, Glitter Cardstock, um, it's on clearance for 79 cents, regular $2 a sheet, roughly $1.99 from Michaels, and it just says Glitter Cardstock, so, but it was this glittery plaid, pink plaid. So I used both of them together. And then I did, um, my cards are based on my favorite things, sketch number 169. This is what I used. Oops, you can't even see it. There we go, sorry. There. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. There, that's the one I used for all five of my cards. Um, other things I used were, I just used a few of these out of my stash, sticker stickers, which I had gotten actually at AC Moore several years ago, which of course is closed now. Um, I did use this die from Stampin' Up! called Tasteful Labels Dies. It is current. It's item 15288. I can't read that. I think 6886. And I used only the dies from Pierced Blooms. Um, I used this flower, these little circles, um, these little flowers and two leaves this one and this one and then I used a sentiment from two sentiments from happy thoughts uh, which is current also it's item 154507 I used thinking of you and just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way so let me show you my cards move these out of the way here first all right here we go <laughs> so we'll just bring them all in there um so in the sketch again let me fold it in half so you can see it up here you can see there's a paper here now they actually look which i didn't realize they had a little border around so they didn't have it fit exactly to the card but i made mine the whole width of the card and the height. So what I did is I cut four pieces, five and a half by four and a quarter, and then I cut them at two and a half. So I have a one and a half and a two and a half inch strip exactly. Okay, so that's what I did. And I think this die from the Tasteful Label dies is pretty doggone close to that one. Not exact, but, but pretty close, right? So, anyway, um, and then they had like a strip of paper or something across, and I found that the Rococo Rose Scalloped Linen uh, Ribbon from Stampin' Up!, which is current now, but it'll probably be going away at the end of April, um, 149704. This is in the annual catalog, and I just used Stampin' Up! Seal which looks like this to um, the ta a tape runner to put the ribbon down. And then this is popped up. These are the flowers from In Bloom. They're stitched and they're popped up on one um, dimensional right up in the little corner here. And then that's the sticko butterfly. And inside is just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. I won't show all the insides because they're all the same. That's all I did on the insides. So I have two with the damask uh, wallpapery looking stuff at the top, which is not textured, but it looks textured. And then the glitter paper at the bottom. 
I just had to bring in some glitter with the something. And, oh, and then these are also current. They're in the January to June mini catalog. And they are called the opal rounds. They're like a, they do look like a white opal. Can you see that? They have like sparkle in. They're a little dimensional. Their item 154289. And again, they're in the January to June mini. I just put one of those in the center of each flower just to add a little bling without using Wink Estella or something. So those two have the damask at the top. These next two have the glitter paper at the top and the damask at the bottom, which was the other side of these two sheets that I had cut. And then the way I cut my paper, um, I didn't have enough to get, um, because of the way the patterns were in the paper, I didn't have enough to get another full panel out of that part of the paper for the damask. And I had a bigger piece for the glitter, so this is what I did. I didn't follow the sketch exactly. I had this piece that fit just like this um, on the card. Oh, and these cards, by the way, um, I'm trying to use up. I only have, I think, five more left. I should have done ten cards, but there were 25. These were from scrapbook.com from my stash. They're standard A2 five and a half by eight and a half, 80 pound paperweight, it says. They're Nina Solar White. Yeah, so I'm down to five of those. And um, so anyway, that's what I did on this one, but I kept the ribbon going across this way. So that one is not from a sketch exactly. And that's the same. So those are my five pretty easy cards. Idea is to use up paper. So I used two halves of two sheets <laughs> of 12 by 12 for five cards but yeah so what I showed you earlier that and this that's what I have left now this one because of the way the pattern is in it I didn't want to cut it I, I, anyway I cut it across the bottom at four and a quarter and then I cut it at five and a half and five and a half which is why I only ended up with this strip over here um, on this one and the other one I cut sort of in the opposite direction I went down anyway you get the idea so the moral of the story is I think you get more out of it if you cut it the way I did this one however the way the pattern was in this paper I couldn't do it that way and have it work with the pattern for a horizontal card so yeah those are my cards i hope you oh and i didn't have enough pink butterflies so these ones are like yellowish pale yellow which i actually think works better and then this one is more of a purpley one but it's okay it works they're all a little bit iridescent um and they, even these i think are two different shades of pink mm, they're pretty close which don't exactly match. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I did use Rococo Rose paper cardstock. This is Whisper White Thick. Um, so Saffron scraps to get these and Pear Pizzazz scraps to get those leaves out. And I didn't ink them or anything. I, I did put them up on dimensionals, like I said, and put an opal in them and that's it all right everyone um please go check out the other participants in the collaboration this one is hosted by Paige, who is stamp girl and me so it's a dual um collaboration and yeah but there's other people also that are involved now so please do go check out all the links down below and we hope to see you next month on the 15th for craft our paper stash cards have a wonderful day wonderful week I'll talk to you soon. Hugs, love, and peace.